Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. So here's my MateBook X Pro 2018. Uh, as you can see, it says Huawei and has the pop-up camera. Um, here it is, uh, with an Apple sticker stuck on. Um, so this is the 2020 version, uh, 2020 uh, update of Mac OS with this. Uh, again, I have no idea really on what, how Mac OS on Win Windows computers work and whatnot. Thanks to great guys over at Reddit and GitHub who got this to this point. Um, especially who currently ha runs the <clears throat> GitHub called Prof Say, I think, if I'm pronouncing that right. And before that, even uh, there was Giant Pan and uh, Ginotti Pack. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing those right. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, um, Mac OS works fantastically now. Um, before, I would have an external SSD stuck here and uh, Wi Fi stuck here, but now. Um, I'm just running it straight up on the actual machine. Um, because it's just gotten to a point where I don't feel the need to have Windows on here because Mac just works so nicely. So before I remember, uh, none of this uh, light and dark mode automatic would, wouldn't work before, but now uh, it automatically switches. So now, right now it's nighttime and it automatically switched to dark mode. Um, and as you can see, Wi-Fi works just fine. I, I did use a dongle before when setting it up, so there's the drivers for that, but Wi-Fi works just fine using something called Heliport. <coughs> so the Intel uh, Wi-Fi card inside works. Um, FaceTime and Messenger works just like any other Hackintosh with having set up like a serial number and whatnot. So here's about my Mac. Uh, it shows up just like as it should. It's on the latest version of Mac OS Catalina. The display is working just fine. Um, how, and However, big changes that uh, I noticed is like the touch no longer works. And then I realized it's because the uh, person who made this work like to this extent, it has disabled the touch screen to save battery life. And uh, man, has the battery life improved. I've been using the computer and had it turned on since like uh, morning only now did I shut it down and turn it back on um, and uh, the speakers are working great I mean it's uh, not the speaker sorry battery is working great it's still at 60% after uh, and now it's like nighttime um, the speakers also they work fantastic uh, I I'm not sure how I'll leave the link to these uh, sources uh, which I actually used because again, I didn't do any of this hard work, the hard hard work to get Mac, Mac OS working on this machine. It's done by great people here like this. Um, I, I just followed their guides and got it running. If I can do it, anyone should be able to do it. <clears throat> I'll just demonstrate the speakers. Uh, Um, both of the speakers work. Uh, the uh, the top tweeters seem a little quiet if you use them single, or single, but I just use both of the speakers, which you can do with. Oh, that's very loud. But uh, as like before, you can't edit the. You can't change the volume. So I think that demonstrates the the speakers are pretty great. Um, uh, but uh, you can change the volume. You cannot change the volume uh, because you're using like a multi output device. I'm not sure how what you can do about that. The internal speakers show up as two different ones, uh, and that works just fine. <clears throat> but if I switch to them, you'll notice that you can tell th that it's different. So this is using only the bottom speakers. The off, the off stuff is just turned off. And if I try turning on. Um, just the tweeters, it's gonna be very quiet, even though it's full volume. So now it's just using the top ones. <clears throat> and multi output enables both. Uh, if you're wondering how you get the multiple audio, I just searched up audio MIDI setup, and if I open it, 
Uh, there it is. I just set up two of the uh, built-in outputs as one, and it uses both the speakers. Um, this keyboard works uh, fantastically. Even the little camera works. Um, backlighting works just fine with the two levels as well. Um, the shortcuts, I believe all of them work. I'm, <clears throat> I haven't checked it, but uh, also the all the gestures with the touchpad work. So if I use three fingers to go up like that, that works. I go to um, App Launcher, I think it's called. Or even, the, I was shocked that even the side gesture works for notifications. So it's just amazing. <clears throat> the touchscreen doesn't work, but uh, getting the battery life you get in return is just amazing. So I, I don't really care about it anymore. Uh, and of course, the NVIDIA graphics card is turned off because you can't... Uh, uh, Mac OS doesn't support NVIDIA cards, and it doesn't support Optimus. Uh, here, I'll show that uh, FaceTime does work, uh, and along with the camera. So as you can see, it's black because the camera is inside. If I click the camera, there it is. You should be able to see my phone. Uh, there it is. <coughs> So yeah, it's uh, it works fantastically, and uh, I remember before I would have lost a few percentages already, but it's just gone down one percent so far, and it's just so great to use it without any uh, having the ports blocked out because before I would have I would have uh, the Macintosh SSD on one port, the Wi-Fi on another port, and if I charge the laptop at the same time, that's all the ports gone. But now it's it's just it's just great. Um, and uh, Prof say uh, does update the GitHub very frequently. I'll visit the GitHub real quick. Even um, if I can find the change log, yeah, the, there's the change log. Uh, as recent as four days ago from where, when I'm recording, it it works great. The Bluetooth is said to be working. I'm not sure if I'm doing it wrong or something, but um, when I go to Bluetooth, nothing shows up. I'm not sure if that's wrong or if I'm doing something wrong, but uh, alas, it's it's working great. Yeah, I think that's about it. And before I remember uh, when I used to use Clover, uh, because this is running on open core, when I used a Clover, I couldn't restart or res shut down, but now all of that is working as well. If I click shut down, restart, it will go ahead and restart just fine. And once again, I want to mention that I have no idea what I'm doing with this. I just use the guides posted up on Reddit and GitHub and whatnot, and uh, use those to get this result. And if I could do it, anyone should be able to do it. So again, thanks to Prof Say uh, for having this set up and working so great. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm gonna quit the video here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll have the GitHub link in my description. Salam alaikum.